Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this lesson we're going to be learning a very simple arrangement of You Are My Sunshine giving you some basics as far as making chords and also arpeggiating. And uh, before we start I do want to thank my patrons who are giving, supporting, making this program happen so that everyone can have these lessons uh, free of charge with no subscription rates, uh, nothing to nothing to buy and it's because of the patrons who are giving to this program and to those who may consider or would consider giving that is also very much appreciated uh, to helping this program uh, succeed and to continue. I also want to thank those who are sharing me, trying to get me into their local festivals, recommending me as a uh, performer and presenter uh, of workshops and even into your local dulcimer clubs. I've had that happen so thank you for that as well. So we're going to start off with some very basic chords that we've already learned and uh, just apply these. We're going to do this very simply, then we'll arpeggiate it and then we'll move it to the bass string. So you're going to start on the middle string, open melody, then with your ring finger, one, and then two with your thumb. And if you want to strum that you can, two, one, two, open, strum. So here's what we have so far. Two, one, two, open. Make sure you have that much memorized. N not that you can just play it, but that you can actually play that by memory. Now when you make that one, you can make a complete A chord if you'd like. And if that's memorized, open, one, two, make your G chord, and then slide your thumb this whole position up to five and make another G chord. So when I'm making this G, I'm making it just like this. I'm using my middle finger. As I slide up, what I'm doing, I'm laying this down. I'm putting this pinky uh, on the third uh, fret, my ring here, and middle. So one thing that's good to do is just to make sure that you can go back and forth between this G and this G. So what I'm doing here is as I slide up, this finger is going over to this string, thumbs just going up, this is going over, and then I'm dropping these fingers behind it. So. Then five, four, three, two. And notice as I did that, I held the same position. Even though I'm just hitting the fourth, you could you could also, if you if you wanted to do this, I don't think that's necessary, but five, I'm just sliding that down. Four, three, two. So from the beginning. Make sure that's much is memorized. Then you're going to play that string open again. First string. Oh, one, two, three, and up to five again. So same exact thing. So let's play it from the beginning. So 
Sorry, should have been G there, up to this G. So, five, four, three, two, open. So let's do it again from the BNA. And here's our last phrase. Oh, one, two, three, one, one, two, open again. So what's your chords? Oh, one, two, which is a D chord, three, which is a G, Make your A chord, which is one, two, open. So from the beginning. So instead of strumming the chord, we're going to arpeggiate it, which simply means instead of picking, uh, strumming the chord, you're breaking the chord down. So it's going to sound like this. You're going to pick out, 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 back, out. Again, out, 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 back, out. So you may want to just practice that. So here we go. Right here. Open, out, out, back, up, out, sorry. Here's your G, out, 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 back, out. Five, four, three. Now here, because of timing, out, 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 three, out, 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 two, out, 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 back, out. So since this is D-A-D, -D, whatever you play on the melody string, you can do on the bass string. If this is a G, in other words, O, one, I'm sorry, three, one, O. Oh, if you flip that, you could do O, oh, one, three. Now, and here's, instead of doing two here, you could do two here, both a D. There's, there's chords up the next that are inverted. We're not gonna worry about those, but let's try it backwards. So what, when we're arpeggiating it backwards, because you could strum it backwards. Don't worry about making that chord. But let's arpeggiate it. So we're going to start on the bass and come back. 
So out, back, back, out, out, out. Inverted G there. Just the opposite. That's starting on the melody. Starting on the bass, it's just the opposite. So notice, out, out, here, out. So your, your beginning of the arpeggio and the end are both going to be out. So I, I don't think that's confusing. Uh, I do hope uh, you enjoyed that lesson. Very simple. Uh, and it'll give you some basics as we move forward. And for those who are struggling with some of the harder stuff, this will give you a nice break of something fun to do. So... Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on your next lesson.